Imagination Station is here with a flame tornado. Now you're <laughs> speaking my language. Right, so we're actually gonna talk about vortices today. And um, we're gonna start out with a challenge. So I'm actually going to flip these two liter. Now I've got these uh, connected together in the middle and I wanna get the water from the top to the bottom the fastest way possible. Simple so, way to do this one? Yeah, I'm gonna let you do it. All right, we take these things all over the place to <laughs> classrooms all across Northwest Ohio. All you right. give it a little spin. You're gonna get the circulation going. Yep. Once we get the circulation going. Perfect, now you can see that by creating that vortex in the center, kind of looks like a tornado, right? And what we have happening is we have um, the water from the top is able to flow freely down to the bottom and that vortex in the middle allows the air that's in the bottom to flow up to the top. Very okay, cool. Okay, now um, in the center, right where your hand is, there's actually a little plastic piece holding our two bottles together, and this is called Tornado Tube. We mm -hmm. actually sell these in our gift shop, so this is a really good at-home activity to do. First time you show a kid one of these, they're just amazed. Exactly. Yep. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's kind of something that you can play with all day. And right. I put glitter in there to help show the um, kind of the motion, that circular spinning, but also because I like glitter. It's, all right. It's sparkly, <laughs> right? So uh, what we're going to talk about now is the fire tornado. So you've probably heard of regular tornadoes. You're just talking about Tropical Storm Danny coming through and um, maybe even Sharknadoes. Sharknadoes. <laughs> Terrifying, right? Yeah, so what we're gonna do is look at a fire tornado, which is not something that you wanna do at home, um, but it has a pretty simple setup. So I have a Lazy Susan down here. We put a trash can on top and inside I have some cotton balls and I put a little bit of lighter fluid on those. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually use my blowtorch to ignite our flame in the center. So we're gonna go right through there. Mm -hmm. All right, we had just a little bit of paint burning off, but you can see that our flames in the middle are kind of moving straight upward. But if you kind of slowly start to turn our Lazy Susan, as you spin it, what's happening is the air molecules around it are kind of getting caught in the mesh of our trash can and they start to spin and they start to create that uh, uh, vortex. vortex. Yes, thank you. Yep. <laughs> that circular motion. So um, what's happening is all that air is moving and it's causing our flame to move with it. Okay, now this is something that firefighters actually do have to be mm -hmm. aware of because not only can brush catch on fire, but depending on topography mm -hmm. and the way the trees are laid out, sometimes that uh, wind coming through mm -hmm. can actually create a fire tornado. Not uncommon to see this, especially with all the wildfires that are going out exactly. uh, in the west coast or the western third of the United States, all sure. the Washington state, California, it's a fairly common, yeah? Yeah, so we're gonna stop that for a minute and I'm actually going to put another one on top so now we've kind of doubled the amount of mesh that we have available so go ahead and spin it again all right so now our fire tornado can be even larger because now we have more air circulating and to make it really fancy kind of show that spinning motion we're actually going to add some iron in there so the iron powder ignites and you can kind of see all those little flashes coming off of there very cool do you want to do some iron I would love to. okay <laughs> here you go so I'll spin for you um, but it's a really neat way to kind of show this different type of weather. You know, something that we don't see very often. Are we out of fire tornado season? Uh, fire tornado <laughs> season in Ohio is officially closed. Okay, yes. good, good. Um, but it's really cool. And like I said, it's something that, you know, we don't think about, but something that firefighters definitely need to be aware of because we're kind of creating a ground fire, but we're also creating canopy fire, which is really dangerous. So, but pretty amazing. That Respect the vortex. Right. Is what you're saying. Exactly. Whether it's a water tornado, regular tornado, or fire tornado. Right. Sarah, thank you so much for that. Imagination Station, what's new with you guys? We are um, actually talking about vortexes, vortices, actually, um, at Imagination Station. So we are doing air cannons this week, so you can come check that out. Um, Lucas County Kids are free on Saturday, so come see us this weekend. All right. We can do that. Sarah, thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate that. More W211, your day coming up in just a moment. Stay with us. Thank you.